Oh, got a nice little three piece. Oh! Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, you need to change your AK 74U class setup immediately here in Black Ops Cold War. I've created a brand new class setup using different attachments that actually performs better than the setups you were using before. With this new class setup, I believe you guys will be able to drop your highest KD, your most kills, or possibly your first nuke here in multiplayer. So with all that being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 600 likes. If we can get 600 likes in under 24 hours, that would be absolutely incredible. Also, let me know down in the comment section right now, the AK-74 for you or the MP5. In your opinion, what is the absolute best SMG to use here in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer? I'm going to go ahead and showcase some gameplay where I was absolutely mopping the enemy team. They had no chance against this new class setup. And then I'm going to go ahead and break down this class setup and in detail explain why I run each and every attachment. And also, everybody, do not forget, if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any updates that do go live here in Black Ops Cold War, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications if you guys want to find immediately when I upload a new video. Let's get right into the gameplay. There we go. The wind's in sight. Maintain that momentum. There we go. Losing A. Half time. Woo. Alright, let's go ahead and try to push up mid map. We're in the lead. Enemy is a taking Bravo. See locked down. Teammates, I want to challenge that. There we go. Why can I not put on my body armor right now? There we go. I need to get pushed up in their spawn. Yeah, they got somebody just sitting back there. Push up. Five. Enemy 
counter spy plane inbound. What? So now one back over here. Pop this body armor. Driving off the XD. We got a nice little three piece. Enemy RCXD detected. Ooh. Losing Bravo. Taking A. Oh! Enemy is Charlie. A secure. Taking B. Hostile spy plane is Bro, one of my teammates literally just came humongous and saved me. We're kind of going crazy right now with the war machine. They're going to be. Location secure. Maintain current posture. We lost A. On 17. Securing A. Okay, we're going to rush this. There we go. Let's go, baby. I'm not gonna challenge that way because they're all in the head glitch. They actually took the harp. What? Alpha secure. Multiple hostile spy planes no detected. Shot. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. Continue on mission. I'm dead. Yep, I knew it. I knew I was dead. Holy shit, bro. Their whole team was just rushing the hell out of me right there. There we go. You thought, buddy. You thought, buddy. You thought, buddy. I want the door open. You got the music. Come on, I can't hit my door. I love this setup. Close the door. Hard point locked down. Contesting hard point. We're flushed. Back over here. Oh, buddy. Let's push out. They're right there. 
Contesting hard point. Hardpoint located. Hardpoint locked down. There we go. Guy literally underneath us. Use Molotov cocktail. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and the fastest killing AK 74U class setup here in season two. Now, with this weapon, we are going to be running it loud and proud. So, for the muzzle, instead of running the Gru Suppressor, we are going to be running the Spetsnaz Compensator. The AK 74U is absolutely amazing when you guys run it unsuppressed because you can challenge AR players at medium and long ranges and win. This is going to allow you to have vertical recoil control, extending this weapon's lethality, making it that much better. Now for the next attachment, we're going to jump to the barrel, and we're running a completely different barrel on this weapon. Now normally, I recommend you guys to run the VDV Reinforced Barrel or the Task Force Barrel. This time, we're going to go ahead and put on the 10.3 Liberator Barrel for increased bullet velocity, so the bullets are going to hit players a little bit quicker over ranges, and in turn, making it feel like this weapon is killing enemies a lot faster here in Cold War multiplayer. Now, I absolutely love this barrel on the AK 74U. This is my new setup for this weapon. I highly recommend you guys going ahead and giving this a try if you have not already. Not that many people run the Liberator barrels on this game that increase the bullet velocity. People usually jump to the Task Force or the Reinforced Heavy, but do not sleep on this barrel. It honestly goes ahead and transforms the entire behavior of this weapon. I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. Now for the next attachment, we're going to jump down to the under barrel and like always we're running the Spetsnaz grip for vertical recoil control as well as horizontal recoil control. We want to have the AK-74U as easy to use as possible, especially over medium and long ranges so we can challenge AR players and win. This is a universal SMG and in my opinion, it's probably the best SMG to use here in Black Ops Cold War, right next to the MP5, as well as the Bullfrog and the LC-10, if we're going to count DLC weapons. Now, for the next attachment, believe it or not, we're not running a magazine on this gun. We have two different attachments that we can go ahead and put on this weapon that I believe extend this weapon's lethality, especially if you guys are trying to run and gun with it and also be deadly at any range. Now, for the handle, like always, we're going to be running the Gru Elastic Wrap. This is going to allow us to have increased aim down sight time, flinch resistance, as well as aiming while going to prone. You can snap on the players quickly because you're going to have the increased aim down sight time, something that's very important when running any SMG or AR here in Black Ops Cold War. If you guys do get shot, you can maintain your accuracy and win those gunfights because we're going to have flinch resistance. And then finally, we're going to be able to drop shot at a close range and win those sticky situations that you might not be able to get out of if you guys did not have on the Gru Elastic Wrap. This is an attachment that you must run on the AK-70 for you at all times. No ifs, ands, ors, or buts about it. Now finally, we're going to go down to the stock and we're going to put on the KGB Skeletal Stock for increased sprint to fire time as well as aim, walking, movement speed. We can ready our weapons faster off of a sprint, making this gun a lot easier to use if you guys are trying to run and gun. And you can, always, can also walk around, aim down sights, guaranteeing you're ready for each and every gunfight and winning each and every gunfight here in Cold War Multiplayer. This is going to be the absolute best, the new fastest killing AK-74 U class setup here in Cold War multiplayer. Now for the setup I have on the Shoot Super Shotgun, Stim Shot T4 Field Mic, Flat Jacket Tactical Mask, Gearhead Scavenger, as well as Ninja and Spycraft, all possible with the Perk Greed Wildcard. If you guys do end up using this class setup and drop your most kills, your highest KD, or maybe, just maybe, your first snook, let me know down in the comment section of this video, and also drop a like on the video, Subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.